Okay, welcome to a, another video with me. I am always looking for something totally different to do in my plan or bullet journal. So I decided uh, why not try some paper weaving? <laughs> I don't know. I was just, you know what, let's throw it out there. Let's just see what, it, what happens. And it was kind of fun. I kind of had a little bit of fun with it. Now, one of the things I really like about the Archer and Olive um, notebooks is that the paper is so thick that it makes it for the perfect backdrop to do paper weaving. <laughs> Who near? Anyway, if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm gonna go through some really easy steps for you to essentially do exactly the same thing if you wanna try it and ramp it up a little bit. It would be great to see. In other news, however, super excited, I got tagged in a recreation and it was amazing. It is right up next. Let me show you right now. Bing! And super great, right? Oh, so happy that someone finally <laughs> took the initiative to tag me in something so that I could see the kind of your recreations. Anyway, if this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the little bell so you know what's coming up and good lord, what? I look like a crazy person with my hands all covered in paint, but that's totally okay. I've had a really, really fun weekend creating a whole bunch of stuff for this month and really excited to start sharing it with you. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to start with today is my Archer and Olive Blackout Notebook. I thought it would look fantastic against the woven um, sheets and I'm looking for a seam essentially. So I might miss a couple of pages, but I wanted a seam so that I could stick the pages together really easily. Great, now that we have a seam, we're now going to essentially cut through our um, pages. We're going to put them at two centimeters. I'm not making them too big. I don't want them to kind of gape open. So I'm keeping them to two centimeters on both sides. Once that's done, I'm gonna grab my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna go slowly through and cut where I have drawn my lines. Great, now that we've done that, we're going to trim our pieces of paper. We're going to have paper the same length as, or a little bit longer than the current side of the A5 notebook. I want them a little bit longer so that I can weave them through and just make sure that they're stuck in correctly before we turn them over. So now that we have all our strips of uh, paper, we're now going to weave them through the pieces of my card on my notebook. Now, this might not be immediately obvious, but I've actually mapped out the letter J on the other side of the page. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave it to kind of create that J on the other side of the page. You can use any letter really. You just need to map it out and make sure that you have the right numbers kind of weaving in and weaving out. So once we've done that, we're able to kind of create the little J woven feel on the right hand side of the notebook.
let's stick everything in to make everything nice and secure. Um, nothing too exciting here, we're just putting in some glue stick and then sticking the page down so that the woven pages don't move around. Okay, we're going to trim the edges down to make sure that we don't have any of the overlap. If you wanted a tab or wanted to use it for another reason, you could probably keep one of the side tabs open so that you can find that month nice and easily. Once we've done with that, we're going to trim the other side and kind of stick all of those extra little pieces down to make sure that they don't move. And then we're done with that part of this. I'm now going to use my Chiron marker and I am going to put in January just to make sure that I know which month it actually is. I am so looking forward to seeing how you create your own woven spread and feel free to tag us on Instagram at The Art of Bujo. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to visit us elsewhere, we are all over Instagram. Come and visit us. We're also on Pinterest, Facebook, and you can hit us up on email as well. Look forward to seeing you next time.